Are you, do you hear me? Yes, yes. So it's all about uh, desktop Linux as easy as a smartphone just in a snap. I will tell, I, I will tell you how snap works and how the snap packaging format, how universal the snap packaging format is and that we can have an all snap distribution Ubuntu core and, all, and this also in a desktop version Ubuntu core desktop and at first what the hell are snaps and why should we use them so application developers they usually uh, they usually provide their applications as source code but for the not so tech savvy users, they do not know how to compile source code and so they cannot use, use them directly. They are dependent on the goodwill of, of uh, distribution maintainers who are packaging it for their distribution. And uh, so another possibility would be that the app developers would package the, packing, the, the application by themselves but then they have to do it for 10, 10 or more different distributions and for each distribution version and then uh, it comes up that, that they have to do, do uh, to provide 100 versions of the package and test it and this is a nightmare. So now when you see on a smartphone it's somewhat easier. You have many smartphones of different, of different manufacturers it's like the different distributions and they have a Google Play Store or an App Store depending on the operating system and there you can simply download any application which, which you can think about for that operating system and how does this all work and what, what we have at Canonical we have already developed a smartphone operating system Ubuntu Touch now maintained by the by the community and after they have given up on on ubuntu touch in back in 2017 they have learned from this they have they had their packaging system for the smartphone and out of this packaging system they have developed a similar packaging system and this is snap and by the way, Snap is already 10 years old. So it, when it went already back in the time when we, are, when we had actually still the smartphone. And what is it exactly? It is so-called sandbox packaging. The, the application is in, a, in, an, in, is in an encapsulated package together with all its dependencies, all its libraries and fonts and, and so on. And this way you can install the application on any operating system, on any Linux operating system at least. And this way you can, you, you are not dependent on the, on the distribution anymore. And And also the snaps, they come from the snap store. The snap store is in, in several forms curated. So you can trust third party apps. You do not need to rely on your distrib distributions uh, 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 developers on getting uh, packages which maintain your security. And so you are not, not dependent anymore. You can, you, you can ha have a snap store with a large choice of packages. And this way you get an experience similar as on smartphones. And another thing is using now, I talk about snap sandbox packaging, encapsulated security, distribution independence. So there are other formats. There's not only Snap, but Snap has something special. Don't fear the daemons, we Snap them too. We can Snap not only desktop applications, but also command line applications, system software, daemons, 
kernels even and uh, boot systems. And so we can snap everything which makes up an operating system and the user applications on it. And so we can have an all snap operating system in which, which is Ubuntu Core and Ubuntu Core Desktop where I will come later to. And packaging can move from distros to upstream with, with the help of our, our no, uh, distribution independent packaging format. So they are not, so for a certain user application, not every distribution has to package it by themselves and, and reinvent the wheel. So we can have one distribution independent package and every distribution can use it. And so, and so upstream can make a snap Everyone can use the SNAP, so distributions do not need to package such a lot of stuff by themselves, and they can con uh, concentrate on the operating system itself. And as I say, and, and uh, as, as we have here in the package, sandbox packages, the, the application itself and its dependencies are put together in an immutable file system image. And we have also immutable, and you know, immutable distros where the distribution core is an immutable file system image. We can make up this with out of snaps. And so we have immutable apps, immutable subsystems, immutable distros. So everything easy to update, e easy to maintain. And now I will tell a little bit more about the internals of snap packages. So we have a GPG signed read only squash FS image. And this contain and this contains the file system, the static file system of the snap, which means the application itself, its libraries and dependencies. And the snap package, the dot snap file which is downloaded, is exactly this file system image, and this is just mounted and available. And the inside this file system image, there's also one YAML file with the metadata of the snap. And, and each installed snap does not, in, in, in its security in encapsulation, about which I will talk later, there's not only the immutable file system, the mounted SquashFS, there's also a writable area so that uh, the application can save data, internal data. So what in, and then we, ha and we have five types of different snaps. We have simply apps, then we have o operating system core snaps. These snaps contain the, the, the basic libraries like libc, glibc, and so on. And so with this, with this operating system core snap, the snaps can share these basic libraries. And then we have gadgets, we have gadget snaps. This is a snap with a boot system and a file system dis di description so to that uh, an all snap operating system can boot. We have kernel snaps and we have desktop session snaps and desktop session snaps are KDE or GNOME these are these make with these we make up a, a desktop a, an all snap desktop distribution so then we have transactional updates which means we update the immutable squash fs image all at once and cannot do more granular updates and we, so we can very easily update and very easily, if the update fails, if the new version fails, we can very easily roll back because we do not mess up our system's file system. And to, to make the downloads faster because uh, uh, Squash FS containing a whole, uh, an application with, with all its dependencies, we use binary diffs. So we don't, the user does not download when an update happens, the user does not download a whole file, file system image, but only the, the differences. And, and, 
and, and Snap is available on many distros. You can install SnapD on many distros and if you can install SnapD, you can install Snaps. Usually the, 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 what, what we need is that the distro is systemd based, then we can install SnapD. And on Ubuntu, it's all the, all, all the 10 years Snap, Snap exists. So Ubuntu 14.04 and up has SnapD already installed. So about the security, I have told we read only file system image. The image is also GPG signed. And we have a confinement area. The snap is the snapped application is running inside an encapsulation. So it cannot access the, the host system and the host system cannot access the, the snap. And also one snap cannot access another snap. And for this, for the file system side, we have up armor. For the, for the system calls, we have SecCom, and, for, and then we have also separate namespaces between the SNAP and the host system and other SNAPs. And we have SNAPD, which manages all this, and a SNAPD a confined wrapper script to start the applications inside this, uh, inside this encapsulation. So, due to the encapsulation, we have a root safety. So, when in one snap uh, an application is running as root, it cannot mess up the system because it cannot access the system due to the encapsulation. And actually, daemon snap, in daemon snaps, the daemon is running as root because it started at boot when no one is locked in. And we, and we are storage efficient as the file system image is compressed and it will not be uncompressed on disk neither when we install it nor when we start the application. All the un uncompression is done on the fly while the snap is running and accessing the, uh, its image. And, and to also save on, on, on resources, we have once the core snaps with the most common libraries. And so these libraries, the snaps do not need to bring. And if we have some library heavy situation, like a GNOME application or KDE application, for these we can also have snaps with collections of libraries, so-called content snaps. And for example, for GNOME and KDE, we have content snaps with all the libraries, icons, fonts and so with which GNOME needs, which KDE needs. And so GNOME and KDE applications by, uh, share this snap and so they get, they get much smaller. So, and now I, I have told the snap cannot access the system and cannot access other snaps, but sometimes communication between these components is needed and so for this, we have well-defined interfaces. So we can say we want to connect to the network. So we define the SNAP that it is allowed to connect to the network by the SNAP connecting the, with the network, network interface. Or a SNAP is some uh, uh, office application and then we want to be able to print. So we can let this SNAP connect the CUPS uh, interface and so the snap can print and now we have several different interfaces some interfaces are rather harmless operations for example printing you can only the, through this interface the cups interface you can only access you can only get a list of available printers with their options and you can also send jobs to printers there's nothing dangerous you cannot modify anything in the system through this interface so we have a safe interface and then there are other interfaces which give you more power so you could manipulate the system you could mess it up or you could do something malicious and so these are dangerous, inter these we call dangerous interfaces. For example, CUPS control, this does not allow you only to print. 
It does allow you to create and to delete print queues. It does allow you to uh, access the job queue, so you could theoretically also read jobs of other users. And so this is a dangerous interface. And now, when you, when you upload your Snap, your application Snap to the Snap Store so that users can download it, if it, your Snap connects to, to safe interfaces, all the safe interfaces, when a user downloads your Snap from the Snap Store, these safe interfaces are automatically connected when the user installs the Snap. But if you have dangerous interfaces, when the user downloads your Snap, these interfaces are not auto-connected. And so the user has to manually connect it. Or you, when you upload to the Snap Store, you ask for a special permission from the Snap Store team to auto-connect certain dangerous interfaces, and then they get also auto-connected. So, and now to the updating of Snaps. I already told of, of atomic updating. This means the Snap has one file system, one immutable file system, which is just mounted to make it available, in contrary to Debian packages, where the Debian package is a collection of individual files, and these files are written at their places into the, into the system's file system, so they can override other files, and so you cannot undo this process safely, and you can get a big mess. And here you have the immutable file system, it gets mounted and on, in case of an update you get a new immutable file system, the old one gets unmounted, the new one gets mounted and this is the update and the old one gets, does not get deleted. Always the previous version does not get deleted and so you can, you can step back if your new version fails. And you can very easily step back, the new uh, image gets unmounted, the old image gets mounted, and, this, uh, and, and, uh, you, uh, and you are saved, you have your old version which you know that it worked. And also the writable area gets back up on an update, so that on the stepping back you get also your old writable area back. And so updating is very safe. which makes it very e easy. Installing snaps cannot mess up anything in your host system as we are just mounting immutable images. And updating is unmounting old, mounting new, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing uh, gets overwritten and, and so you cannot make a mess and you have a very safe method of installing and managing applications. So now we have learned about snap. Oh. Yes. Hmm. Now we have learned about, I think I should better connect this thing here. Yes, yes, yes. Where's, in, yes, this is the plug. Yes, yes, yes. What? Yes? We need to wrap it quite quick. We need to wrap it by 140. Yes, yes. Yes. So, Ubuntu. Yes. Ubuntu. Yes, about the making of this, I plan to to do not do anyway. Yes. Now we come to the to the all snap operating system. Ubuntu Core. And in the beginning, when Snap was developed, Ubuntu Core was also developed, it was all developed as a complete concept for IoT, that you had an IoT operating system which could be easily updated, atomic updates, 
So uh, you had an immutable operating system and also the immutable snaps for the applications. And with this, one had a very easy, easy operating system for appliances, IoT, embedded, and so on. And this was Ubuntu Core. And Ubuntu Core has the following components. It has a kernel, which is in a snap. It has a, the gadget snap, which is the boot system and the description of the file system partitions. And you have the core snap, as I already told. This is the snap which contains the basic system, the basic libraries of the system, which every application uses in common. And, and the core snap, it is always based on uh, Ubuntu LTS. So it is replaced by a new one, except back bug fixes every two years. And, and so you see this in every snap, you get an, an image of the system usually uh, containing the kernel, the gadget snap, and uh, the core snap as minimum, sometimes also some applications. And after you have installed this image, every snap individually can be uh, exchanged and updated so you can replace the kernel or you can replace the core snap and if so, or uh, security and bug fix updated to replace this also and you can add applications so this is the ubuntu core the or the all snap operating system and updates are atomic as, for, as usual for SNAP, for the operating system and for the, for the SNAPs. And there's also the encapsulation. Each SNAP, also the, the ones of the applications and also the SNAPs of the, of the system itself are all encapsulated and all communicating only through well-defined interfaces and SNAPD is managing it. So now this was a headless operating system, the Ubuntu core for headless servers for IoT. And now we add, we make an, a desktop operating system out of it. And for that, we have the, the scheme as, as we had before. Boot base is the core, is the core uh, distribution. Gadget is the, is the boot system. You have the kernel. Now in this scheme we have also SnapD, we had it nat naturally also in the simple Ubuntu uh, core. And SnapD is also in the Snap. And now we add one important thing, we add, we add the desktop session Snap. And the desktop session Snap in the Ubuntu core desktop, which we are developing at Canonical, contains Wayland and Gnome so that we have a des uh, uh, an Ubuntu core system with GNOME as the desktop. KDE developers are also working on a desktop session snap for KDE. So we will also sooner or later have an Ubuntu core desktop with, with KDE. Perhaps they call it Ubuntu de core desktop or so. And then we have the applications, and this time the applications can also be desktop applications as we have a desktop. But also non-desktop applications can be installed. So you can install any snap. And the additional basis is if you install an application which is based on another core distribution as the core distribution of your operating system, then the addition, then for that snap, the additional core snap, which that snap needs, is also installed. So that, that snap has also its libraries. And so it's assured that you can install any snap on this operating system and it works and you never run into dependency hell. So, so as I said, Ubuntu Core Desktop is Ubuntu Core with a desktop se session snap added. And the images, especially of Ubuntu Core Desktop, also contain some basic applications. So that you get something complete as you are, are used to from classic Ubuntu.
and everything easily ex exchangeable as we have a modular uh, immutable atomic snaps and so you no, do not make any mess you install you uninstall and nothing and nothing is partially overwriting anything else and if you want to d do development on an ubuntu core desktop because you have not no access to your system out of an application like an ide for development you use lxd containers and there's one application called workshops which allows you easily to create containers of any distro not only ubuntu and that you can develop inside these containers and this application is called workshops and now we have no ETA yet for Ubuntu Core Desktop at Canonical because there are several things which we have to, to take care of still and to, to make sure that they get done. Uh, especially, for example, we need NVIDIA driver support because people want, want to do gaming or, or even high per performance computing on their, or, or on their system, AI and so on. And we and what is also under un, under uh, under development under my management is the printer the printer setup tools and uh, uh, so that one can can set up printers inside the encapsulated immutable system which means we cannot add classic printer drivers and so on and so we have some some changes to do and we we also need to to uh, do scanner drivers the possibility to add scanner drivers so-called scanner applications as they emulate a driverless scanner we are then development for development we want to allow the user to install an ide snap and this ide snap should be able to access the user's lxd containers and this also needs to be done then we have also remote management with a canonical landscape active directory support and distribution infrastructure isos to download and ci testing and all that stuff yes that's all are there any questions yes these these yes i must go back Yes, what is, what is the advantage of using Ubuntu Core Desktop instead of Nix? Nix is one of many immutable uh, uh, distributions. And in, these immut in most immutable distributions, you are supposed to add desktop applications by using Flatpak. And there are even some which have some more sophisticated sophistication uh, like Lent OS, unfortunately Rudra Saraswat is in the other room, where we can uh, install Debian and uh, RPM packages and they are installed into some LX, uh, into some container and so we have encapsulation. But all this is not giving you, allowing you to, to do everything in one format. For example, you cannot install system applications this way so you would need to resort to something else for system application like like oci containers docker podman and so the stuff gets more complicated and in ubuntu core desktop it's all and everything is snap and so it's much easier as you have only one packaging format what what do you say what are you asking Ah, yeah. The advantage of yes, the advantage of Snap against Flatpak. Snap, as I told, can in Snap we can package, as I told, not only desktop applications, but we can package uh, practically everything. We can package kernels, we can package boot systems, we can package daemons, we can package system applications, command line applications, and this way we are able to make up a full operating system out only out of snap 
because Snap can package all the components. And Flatpak is only for uh, desktop applications. The usual way, for example, how, flat, how out of Flatpak you access your, ho uh, your, your, uh, your home directory is, the Flatpak has also an encapsulation and the, com the, communication is go the communication is going through portals. And you have, for example, the desktop portal. And this means if your application wants to open the, the file open dialog, what it does, it communicates by dbus with the desktop environment. Then the desktop environment, which is not in the, in, in the capsule of, of the flat pack, this opens the file open dialog. And so the user opens the file with a process which belongs to the desktop environment. And the desktop environment is a part of the host system. And the host system can access the, the home directory of the user. So the fi this file open dialog can actually open the file. And then the file is sent into the Flatpak application. The user can, uh, can work on it. And when, then when he, when he wants to save or print the file, then again a dbus communication to the desktop uh, environment is done. And then the desktop environment is opening the save as dialog or the print dialog. And this is completely desktop specific. So you cannot do this with, uh, with uh, command line applications. And so you see, Flatpak is specialized for desktop. There are development efforts of Flatpak to try to get somehow also system applications and daemons Flatpak, but it's very, very rudimentary in the moment. It takes time until this gets really developed. There's some discussion, but not really actual code that we can flat pack uh, system applications and daemons. Mm, not really. I think, I think for now, the modularity is still very well, even that we have content snaps. So the content snaps, they are not very many around. And the content snaps, for example, for GNOME, they are only be replaced from one GNOME version to the next. Like the core, core snap is all, only replaced from one LTS Ubuntu to the next LTS Ubuntu. I think the, the content provider snap for GNOME can be the, I'm not sure, I think it's also only replaced from one Ubuntu LTS to the next Ubuntu LTS. So every two years. So there are not too many uh, content provider snaps. And if you snap something, you have to clearly define in the, in the snap which content provider snaps and which core, core distribution snaps you are basing your snap on. And so it is still rather easy and does not end up in the dependency hell which we, which we know from Debian or RPM. So it seems that you are now hopefully not con completely confused. I hope that some of you got now the motivation to snap applications. Either they are mainta upstream maintainer of an application, upstream com com contributor to an application and want, want their application in the snap store, or you want to help snapping uh, applications where the upstreams are not snapping them, then you should join the snap crafters, then you should, you should come anyway in any ca case of snap uh, questions, come to our booth. The orange booth of Ubuntu is this, actually the snap crafters booth. And so you can come to there and we can talk more about snap. And if you want to learn how to, how to snap applications, how to make snap packages, then tomorrow in the afternoon, the actual, actual starting time is to be determined how much we will run late tomorrow. Tomorrow in the afternoon, I will, get, I will give a workshop where you learn snapping. It's an interactive workshop. 
So you should already look into the timetable where, the, where, where my slide deck is linked. You should download it and follow the instruction in the, in the setup section to, to prepare your, your laptop for the interactive exercises. It's mainly installing Snapcraft and some development tools to be able to compile the, uh, the example programs. And then come to my workshop tomorrow and learn snapping. So as we need many more great snappers to make, to, 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 to make snap successful. That's all. Thank you very much.